Hi guys, Laura here. Um, you might hear some baby girl noises in this video because she is having her dinner next to me and this is the only chance I'm going to get to film so before the weekend so uh, I just wanted to get a video done. So uh, today I wanted to talk about a couple of things that I've bought. Not re really expensive things because as I said a million and one times I am on a budget but I have bought a couple of bits um, today in TK Maxx that were really cheap. The first one was this notebook. Um, sorry for the horrendous light setup and everything. We're sort of winging it today. And the sun has already gone in, so we can only deal with the light that I have. In fact, let me see if I can move. That might be a little bit better. That's a tiny bit better. I'm sort of on a chair on the floor to be in the kitchen because if I leave the room, baby girl just screams. So we're doing our best, we're doing our best. So it says, three things cannot be long hidden. The sun, the moon, and the truth. And it's got a little bit of water on the top because it was on the counter whilst I was doing the washing up. So hopefully that all disappears. Um, but yeah, I just thought that was so beautiful. The blue galaxy like, you know, starry night. And it is just aligned. Why is that not focusing? <laughs> It's just a lined pad with rose gold rings and they had other ones in there that had uh, normal gold but that is rose gold you can sort of see uh, and I thought this would be good for my course that I'm doing at the moment I need a nice notebook it really does motivate me having a nice notebook that is dedicated to that one thing and I need it to not be a little diddy one because I have a lot of stuff to write down so I need to crack back on with that and uh, and get going so I bought that today the next thing that I got today, oh cat, go away, uh, is this, this is uh, one of the two things I bought, so I only bought that notebook and this, it is a tiny washi tape dispenser, it even has the little metal grooves along here, look, um, and it was 2 pounds and it is a Roald Dahl washi tapes, so I haven't taken this out of the box yet, but if we get it out you can see, here we go. How cute is that on in a little cardboard dispenser? I mean, I don't know how long this will last because I can be a little bit rough with cardboard and like little things like that, so it might come apart. But it's got this one has like little chocolates and sweets on it. Why is this not focusing? Chocolate and sweets on the first one, peaches on the next one. Um this one is animals. Yeah, that's a monkey, that's a pelican. This one is a giant black tortoise eating lettuce. And that's just a repeated one. Yeah, they're all repeats and not long repeats. So let's see if we can peel some up on the dispenser. So you can see. Oh, it works. Oh, oh, look, there's like a. Oh, it's got a sticky back. It is actually tape, like that you peel the back off rather than a thick washi tape and yet that one sweet it says he's a magician with chocolate it's obviously from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory so it's not sticking onto itself because it has a peel off back in there which is probably a good good reason to keep it in there then I won't peel off the peaches because that's kind of obvious what that is and I won't peel off the turtles because I can see that that's a repeater but if I can spin Go away, Mimi! <laughs> I think she doesn't get enough fuss. I can't spin it round to find the start of this one. So it might all end up coming apart anyway because this is going to be infuriating. Let's undo the backing here and see if I can spin it. There's the backing there. If I try and spin one, it seems to try and spin them all. Here we go. Oh, that one's rolling away. This one doesn't have... Oh, maybe it does. Yes, there it does. There we go. See, so that's... Or is that just a... T that's only a little bit. I don't know what's going on here. It's like at the start, there's that peely-offy thing, and then it disappears, and there's no more peely-offy stuff. It's just like at the beginning, they have like this bit to obviously start you off. I don't know. I have no idea what is going on with this. This is totally different from anything I've had before. But um, it says... Whoopee! shouted the monkey. 
I don't know if you can see. But yeah, pretty cute. I mean, for two ninety nine. I mean, they don't have a massive amount on the roll, but I don't think that's that bad at all for two ninety nine for four rolls. Um, in fact, how much is on the rolls? Does it say? Get that one back in there. Um. Oops. Four five meter rolls of permanent tape. So that's not that bad, I don't think. For 20 metres of a pretty washi, it's kind of a clear washi, but that doesn't bother me. I put most of it on white paper anyway. But yeah, four, uh, no, 20 metres. So what did I say before? I don't know, my brain's not working. It's the end of the day on Friday. It's been a long week. 20 metres of washi for a grand total of 2 99 and it's Roald Dahl themed, and I used to love the Roald Dahl books. So I'm really happy. And it comes on its own little cardboard dispenser with the metal blade to cut it by the way I wouldn't use that because I never would but still very very cute um so I thought on when I found this I thought you know what I'm gonna walk you through my washi because I don't have tons of washi um you see some people who have these um racks and racks of washies in their craft rooms well I would really love to do up our spare room and make a craft area for me and all of my Stuff. At the moment I've just got some bookcases and they are jam-packed for craft things and I'd like a desk and yeah but I can't afford it. We are on a major budget. I have not got money for that right now. But what I do have is this box that I got from the range. It's quite long and it has a handle on the top and in here is where I keep my washi. Now as I said I do not have a lot of washi as you can see. However, this is not all of it, but, oh no, where is it all? Oh, it's not in here, oh no, it's upstairs, it's fine, I'll show you at some other point, but I do have a lot more rolls than this, but all the rolls that had only a very tiny amount of product on the tape, I took off and I had these gift tags that I got in a set from Hobbycraft where I just wanted the stamps out, I showed them in a video ages ago. And they had loads of these gift tags in and I basically wrapped the washi onto the gift tags and threw away the rolls because I couldn't fit all the rolls in here and now I can fit them all in here because there's not that many and the rest are all on these gift tags and I fit three washi patterns to a gift tag and um, they're so much easier to store I can easily fit them in but they're usually in here but I had them all out the other day because I was using them but I'm not going to stop this video and go and get them and then come back because if I do, um, then I will run out of time. I have not got enough time. She's, oh my gosh, she's just fallen asleep in her high chair. I knew she was tired. She wouldn't have a nap this afternoon. Um, but I'm going to have to wake her up because we're not doing late afternoon naps anymore because she doesn't sleep at night. So that's going to be fun. I thought she was quiet. Anyway, so I'm just going to show you the washi as I have it stored in here and tell you a bit about it. This is to go in the bin because this is one of the ones that I peeled off um, and there is now none left on the roll. There's like enough to go round it but that's cardboard underneath. It's not, there's not any left on that so that can go away. Um, so uh, I do want to sort out my skinny washi into its own section um, but this here is not washi. This is magnetic tape. I have quite a lot of this. You can get it in Poundland and it is really, really good. I, it's not a really, really horrible thick one really thin one and it's really sticky so I use this I like to make little card envelopes and use the magnetic tape for them um, in here this obviously isn't washy but this is the spare elastic that came with my Meadowgate leather travelers notebook um, he gave it to me he gave, gives everyone who buys one some spare elastic to you to use to make jump bands rather than using elastic bands which is what I'm using in my other travelers notebooks at the moment um, so let me just go through this with you guys so you might have seen quite a lot of this before but here I have some that is from a wish haul that I never ended up filming because the stuff all came at such separate times which I know has happened I know happens with wish but some things when well, a couple of things went straight in the bin because they were absolute rubbish uh, these things all got used straight away so I had to crack them out because I needed them I wanted to use them straight away and then um, and then a couple of other things were all right. They were in my stamp collection, so I did use them. But yeah, I just didn't really get around to doing a haul video. So I will just show you the ones that I got from Wish. Not these, or these, or these. So these 
five washi. Ah! I'm not focusing again. What is wrong with you, camera? There we go. These five washi came from Wish. They were all a pound each or less. Some of them were 89 pence. And because it was my first ever order from Wish, I got a like vouchery coupon thing to have 50% off. So that just cut off the delivery really because the delivery was like a pound each. Like it was like basically it was a pound for the washies and then a pound for delivery. But then I got basically free delivery in the end. So yeah, a pound each for these washies. First one is are these books so I can make anything look like a bookshelf which is really cute I really want I, I've used it a few times already because I just love to read I'm always looking for book recommendations by the way guys if you can think of any that I would like or that you really like you know pass on the love um so the first one is the books I would quite like to put a page in one of my planners for books I'd like to read so yeah any recommendations would be great um because I just find that if I don't write them down then I forget them and then that's just it they're gone and they're on they're on a shelf if you can see there is actually a shelf underneath them I was gonna put a page in my bullet journal of books I wanted to read but a bullet journal didn't work for me it just I like a more structured planner that's already written out I can't write it out for myself all the time because I just don't I don't know it just didn't work for me so there's the little books the next one is the donuts now this one actually didn't arrive that long ago like maybe a week and a half ago and I put this, some of this on some of my pen pal letters that's gone out. Um, you can't really see because it's quite a clear washi. So let me just pull some off the roll for you. So yeah, oh, oh, this is not going well, this video. So yeah, there is a, there's a repeat. There we go. So green, like with chocolate chips, pink, glazed, white, white icing. Chocolate, oh, chocolate, pinky. Oh, 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 that's that's to the repeat. So it's quite a long repeat. I quite like that. I could get it to go across the bottom of an envelope or along the side of an envelope just once and not um, and not repeat. There was more on here. I have used quite a bit, but that is still quite a good amount of product. I think for a quid. Next one, I've actually used tons of, I'd say maybe even half. There was so much on this, it was crazy. It is the days of the week. And I've just used it in the odd planner and odd place because I just love the font. I just love it. I just think they're so, so nice. And yeah, it just goes in days of the week order. And yeah, there was loads more on there. Um, next one is cameras. I need to take more pictures. Well, no, I don't need to take more pictures. I need to print more pictures off. I really want an HP sprocket cam um, camera printer but it's just not happening at the moment because again budget will not allow but um i love this for when i do take pictures and print them off and getting that one there so that's the repeat of the cameras so again quite a nice long set of repeat quite like that uh, and again good for a pound i haven't used that much of this one i have rolled some off to go on this little gift tag here uh, that says washi as you can see I have rolled some off onto there that is going to a pen pal at some point just when I remember to put one in um, I like to sometimes put a little bit of washi or some sticky notes or whatever into my pen pal letters as my pen pals will know and that will go out at some point um, that one's going there oh and I'm not um, <laughs> I don't work for um, Tiny Talk, by the way. <laughs> this is just a sticker. My, my daughter gets a sticker every class she goes to. She's 10 months and they give out stickers at her Tiny Talk class. And um, she loves to stick them in places. She just holds them, walks around with them in her hand. When we get home, she realises it's on her top and she just walks around with it in her hand. And then it always ends up somewhere. And she was obsessed with pulling my washi tape out and I was putting it back and she was pulling it out and it just ended up stuck in there. Uh, the last one that I had from my little wish haul was bunting so this isn't a massively long repeat so it's one two three four five bunting flags on a repeat but it is super cute goes along the top of anything really sweetly like a little banner you can write in each 
section in it, you know, put a letter in each one if you want to write a little message in them. I just think it's really cute. I have used a little bit, but not that much. And look how much is left on the roll, absolutely tons. And I've not had any problem with these sticking to paper at all. So, I mean, I think washi is something that I would be very happy to buy from Wish again, because these five have been absolutely brilliant. Um, I'd only do it if I had like a good discount code or anything like that, because I just think for me, if I'm buying them from Wish, I'm I'm tight at the moment, I'm a cheapskate, <laughs> and I only want to pay a pound. I want to pay a pound for a roll of washi. And I do appreciate that some of them have masses on the roll, and that's great, but I only want to pay a pound. And, um, you know, I, I could do it from, you know, these were the ones from Lidl, remember, that I showed you before, tons of product on the roll. So, you know, it, it can be done. So this is everything I have in here that's on the rolls. And at some point, I will show you all the ones that I have rolled off onto um, gift tags. Not like this, much bigger, that can fit three loads on each one. Um, because I just think it's such a better system. Because before this was full and then there was some rolling around in the bottom of here. Oh yeah, I'll show you what's in the bottom of here. Since we're doing a little sort of walk through my little craft uh, suitcasey thing. I, I honestly, this is not all of my stuff. <laughs> Jeez, if it was all my stuff, my partner would be the happiest man on earth. Um, no, the whole spare room is full of my stuff. But this is a pencil case that I got from Wilco's that I love. And I was carrying it around for quite a while, but I haven't just for a little while. And in here, I've got some of my pens. Um, I got these calligraphy pens from Ryman's. I'm not sure how much I like these like faux calligraphy pens. Uh, one's quite thick and big, but I mean, they're all right, but... I'm not sure, maybe I need to learn how to use them more. Um, and then there is my Paper Mate Ink Joy Byros, which are okay to write with. I think I like working with a standard, like this Paper Mate back Byro, because it's just really heavy, and I like how the black ink is just really stands out. It's, you know, with these. They feel like they roll along really nicely, and I'm missing a few, I'm sure, that are in my other pencil case, they, in my black one especially. They roll along really nicely, but they're not incredibly dark, you know, they're, they're sort of light on the page, and I like I like them to be really dark and stand out. So they're okay, but they're not my favourite. These I absolutely adore. I don't have the big set, I only have these three of the Papermate Inkjoy, um, the gel, the 0.7 gel, and um, I love these to write with. I think they are brilliant. Um, I have to hold the paper down, you know, like if it's in a, a notebook that isn't spiral bound and the paper's up a little bit or anything like that, I have to hold the paper down because otherwise you get little flicks of ink like when you finish a word. But I absolutely adore how these write. They're so lovely to write with, really good pens. So I really want the bigger set for the, of them, but they'll have to wait. And then that is a Friction, Pilot Friction Light Highlighter. Um, I don't mind the friction pens. I just don't see what all the fuss is about. It's great that you can rub them out, but they don't, again, they don't write particularly dark. It's like writing with a pencil, the color, and I just, I like a really dark, fat pen that is down, and you know, it's down. I've been really enjoying writing with my Sharpie, ultra fine, but it just goes through everything. Like even in my Happy Planner, you can see it, it really goes bad, so I'm gonna have to stop with that. This pen is, Oh, that's not the right side. <laughs> I was pulling that off. A fine liner style pen, or is it? No. I don't know what that's called, but it does work. It's just not working on my hand. But it came free, or it came as part of my uh, pink, um, I can't think what the word is. I did the video. It's from, oh, it's like a zip up. Oh, it came free. And then the next is a big four colour pen, this is the purple one that comes with the light green, purple, pink and light blue colours. I love these pens, in fact I've got two more on the table just here because I just adore them, they go in all my planners. Um, and the shine, that was like £1.29 from Wilkinson's and it's just got the standard colours but that that is blue, it looked purple then. But I love the shine one, that goes normally on my Kiki K large planner and then this one is just the standard um doesn't have the blue half but that doesn't bother me standard one they went they're 99p right now in uh, home bargains yes home bargains that's in there there's also some watercolor stickers in here from 
Pound Land, I didn't show you these, or Pound World, Pound World, because I got the planner stickers from Pound World the other week and the planner sticky notes, and I also picked up a pack of these for myself. Those sticky notes and stickers for the planner are, there's a set in my giveaway. Go and watch my giveaway video if you haven't seen it already. It's running until Sunday, this Sunday, the 3rd of December, and then I'm going to draw it on the Monday. So if you want to enter, make sure you go there, make sure you're a subscriber, and then comment on the video. So yeah, these are wedding stickers. So I got these to put away because I'm getting married next year. So I'm sure I'll use those in something. Here's just some label stickers from the little set of Christmas stickers that I got. They've got some foiling on them. They're just cute. They're just floating around. Oh, and here's some more washi. This is a set that I got from TK Maxx. doesn't have the price on anymore. I think it was like $2.99 or $3.99. It's in a video that I've done previously. And they're supposed to look like macaroons. I don't mind this for a pop of colour, but they're boring me a little bit. Like, unless I want to actually stick down what looks like a macaroon and I cut the tape like this, so it looks like a biscuit. Uh, I don't really particularly want to use them. And then, oh, that is the remnants of the sticker that we got in Disneyland that was on my daughter's buggy the whole way around Disneyland. And, oh, this is like what I do the washi. Anyway, that's the sticker that I'm saving. It's going to go in a journal because it's just fallen to pieces and I, and I shredded it. She shredded it, chewing on it and things like that. But I want to keep it and put it in a journal. Um, this is how I'm doing my washi. There's tons of these upstairs. I'll show them at some point. And that's a whole roll of washi on there. This is a B&M's b and washi that was like two ninety nine or three ninety nine for 13 or two nine. Oh, no, I can't even remember how much it was. But there were 13 rolls and there was not a lot on each roll. As you can see, that's an entire roll of each one on there. So that's what I've done with some of my cheaper washi where I didn't have a lot on the roll. And I didn't want to take up so much space with these rolls everywhere. Because they just weren't, you know, it was taking up loads of space that I didn't need to be using. And this thing was like absolutely in chaos and I didn't enjoy it. These pens are from QDs. I don't know if they have these all over the UK, but they have them in my town. And I love them. And they write all right. They don't particularly come out with me because they're so big and bulky. But I just thought they were so cute when I saw them. I was like, I need them. And they only had the pink and the blue. And I was like, I need them both. I couldn't pick. And they were 99p each. And I was like, you can't really argue with 99p. So I'm going to put my new tapes in there. I'm not even going to put that bit away because I can't be bothered. Put it in my pencil case. Put that back in there. So that is everything that is in my little box i'm gonna stop now because it's coming up to 23 minutes and i could just talk and talk and talk forever um i did want to say thank you i don't know if i said thank you before to the person who like hoped to wish that i uh, found my engagement ring i found my engagement ring just a little story for you if you um were interested if you're not interested in any you know just interested in the station and you want to go now that's fine but yeah i um this is my engagement ring and I have never lost it before, it's never come off my finger, but I have lost a considerable amount of weight since I got my engagement ring, about five stone. So I'd, I'd say that's considerable. Anyway, I'm now struggling to get this ring off. Um, when I, before I started losing weight, I think I was a size T or something, ring size with this, and um, he chose it and picked it and it, it fit me perfectly. He didn't have to go and <laughs> resize it for my big fat fingers. And I've worn it for a year, um, absolutely with no issue whatsoever, and adore it. And you know, it's exactly what I wanted for an engagement ring. And then I did a big long walk to Pets at Home for our cat food, because our cat's got a messed up tummy, so she can only have Pets at Home cat food. Like, not Pets at Home brand, but like a posher brand, it's expensive. Um, and I was walking back with the buggy, and I realized that I didn't have my engagement ring. I looked down at my hand, no engagement ring and I was gutted and it was getting really cold and getting dark and I couldn't go back retrace my steps because baby girl was you know cold and I just wanted to get her in the house so I got home and started searching my house ringing around people that I'd seen recently and asking them to look for me everyone looked no one could find it I looked at my car couldn't find it was really worried I'd lost it out because no one's gonna hand it in not around here It'd probably just get taken and I was so sad and baby girl was really fussing because I was upset. So I had no choice but to sit in the living room with her because she was just fuss, 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 fuss. And then I thought I'll go through her ball pit because she won't let me, sorry, cat. Um, she won't let me look for it anywhere else. So I was emptying all the balls out of her ball pit and there it was. And I had to call off all the people that I was making search and yeah, 
So then I took it off, I didn't wear it because it just slides on and off so easily that I'm scared it's gonna go. Went to the jewelers and said, have you got one of those clip things that can go inside so, so that it can fit onto my finger? Because I don't know if you can see. I don't think you can, but there's quite a big gap. There we go. There's quite a big gap. Have you got one of those clip things that goes inside? And she was like, well, it's white gold. That can like mark it and damage it. Like you'd be better off just buying a cheap substitute or wearing a different ring if you've got a ring at home just until you're ready to resize it if you don't want to resize it twice. Anyway, I bought this off of her for like 15 pounds. So it wasn't, it's not anything particularly. She said it's sterling silver. It's not made my finger go green yet. So hopefully, but it's very cheap, small band and I'm wearing it on the top and it is really tight. Now this is an L. So I said before my ring size was a T. So I've lost some weight. So I jam that in on top. It doesn't hurt my finger even though it's quite tight, but that does not come off unless I do some serious, serious wiggling. Look, that's not even budging. So that's holding my engagement ring on. So I won't lose it again. So thank you so much to the person that said, um, I hope you find it, because I posted on a few Facebook groups that I was like, oh, I don't know what to do, I'm so upset. But yeah, I found it, it's back. It's on my finger where it belongs, yay. Um, so yeah, that's the end of this video. I'm at 26 minutes, I need to wake my baby up so she'll sleep tonight, which is sad times because it's horrible waking her up from a nap. Um, and I will see you soon. Remember to go to my giveaway if you're interested. And you must subscribe to my channel and comment on the giveaway if you want to be in with the chance of winning. I will draw it on the Monday. It closes last night, like at midnight on the Sunday, okay? So thanks so much for watching if you've got this far because it's really long. Um, yeah. And I will see you soon.